Welcome back to the Python Primer for Student Researchers. Last time we were doing a linear regression uh, using the uh, linear regression algorithm in the statistics package from SciPy. Uh, what we'd like to do today, though, is get access to the uncertainties of the parameters, uh, whether they linear or, or other more complicated functions, uh, so that uh, we know what uh, the uncertainties in the parameters are. So we're going to do that today using something called CurveFit, which is another uh, SciPy package. So this is the uh, this is what we got done with in our last video. So if you want to go back and to do the previous video, you'll see where we got this uh, particular data set. And just to remind you, we're uh, defining a linear function here. We're then generating the data uh, of a relatively sparse uh, array here. And then we're adding some uncertainties to that data. And then we're doing, in this case, we did a linear regression and we added that down here to our graph. And so you can see the data points here. You can see the linear regression. Our linear regression has a slope of 1.9, a an intercept of 5.5, uh, which is not two and four, but that's because we have errors introduced uh, to these uh, to these data here. All right. So now what we want to do is do curve fit, and I want to compare all of these different results. So I'm going to go ahead up here and add a new library that we're going to need from SciPy. And this happens to be located in the optimize library. And it's called curve fit. So that's what we're going to um, pull in here. And I'm just going to run that top, uh, top panel there so that our data is generated and it stays the same every time because we don't want to introduce these random variables. OK, so let's go ahead and uh, create a new cell here, and we're going to reproduce um, this linear fit, uh, but we're going to do it um, do it using a uh, a curve fit. So I'm going to take out this slope and intercept here, and what I'm going to do is right before our plot, I'm going to split this cell. So I'm going to say uh, edit split cell, and I'm going to do that again so I can get a new cell here. And in this cell, I'm going to go ahead and do our curve fit so that's in a separate panel. So I don't have to compute all this other stuff. And just to make sure all this is computed, I'm going to input that and input that uh, and make sure that my plot still gives me what I expect. OK, so let's go ahead and put in our curve fit here. So I'm going to um, use something called curve fit, and we're going to fit to a line uh, just like we did with the linear regression. So this curve fit returns an array of parameters and then something called the covariance matrix, which is rel related to the uncertainties in those parameters. And then I can call those, uh, I can get those values by just saying curve fit, and I'm going to pass the function that I'm fitting, so that's line, and then I'm going to put in my x data and my y data. So this time, because it's not, uh, it can be any function that I'm fitting to. I'm telling it what function to fit to, and then I'm sending the data in as well. And then to calculate the uncertainties, I'm going to say, uh, I'm going to make a new variable called parameter param errors, and I'm going to set that equal to the square root of the diagonal of that covariance matrix. And that means that this array here, parameters, will give me a list of parameters, and parameter errors will give me the, uh, the diagonal of that covariance matrix, which will be the uncertainties in the parameters. So I'm going to go ahead and run that, and then let's go ahead and see what we got here. So I'm going to print the parameters, print those first, and whoops, parameters is not defined because I did not spell it correctly. And you'll notice that I get 1.96 and 5.11, which should be I get the same value that I get from the linear regression. Um, and this is called an unweighted least squares fit. So it's it's a um, it's exactly the same as what we did before. It assumes that there are no error bars uh, associated with the data points. It just uh, assumes that the data points are what they are. And the difference here is that I also get the uncertainty. So I can say print, uh, and if I say uh, param errors, 
then it's going to say that the slope is 1.96 plus or minus 0.15. And the intercept is 5.1 plus or minus 0.35. And just to see, uh, you know, if that's, uh, if that, what that looks like, let's go ahead and plot that on our graph below. So in order to plot that, I'm going to need a new fit. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to erase this here. And I'm going to say, uh, make a new variable called y fit, which is going to be my line evaluated at x line. So that I'm going to use that same linear, uh, linear lin space array. But for my slope, I'm going to put in parameters zero. That's my slope. That's this number right here. And then parameters one is that parameter right there. And now let's plot that. So then I can come down and I can add that to my list of plots down here. I can say plot dot plot, and I want to plot x line versus y fit. And we're going to uh, let's make those. Uh, we'll let it we'll let it pick the color for me. I'll just put a label on here, and we'll call this the um, unweighted curve linear fit. And we see it's ident it's identical, right? It's it's the same as the other one, so that's good. Uh, but these data have uncertainties associated with them, so it'd be nice uh, if we could go ahead and and calculate that because that's going to change the slope if we if we have these data points weighted uh, more strongly than the data points that have uh, the large uncertainty. So let's see how we might do that. <laughs> 